All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. It's been a while, but I'm gonna take a look at the EV sector. I don't know if I'm being too aggressive, but I'm gonna try to look at five stocks here, all right? We're looking at Nikola, Lucid, PSNY, I don't know why it's it's still that, I, whatever. Um, Rivian, R-I-V-N, and then Mullen if I've got some time, all right? So, um, you know, it's it's interesting that there are some some decent charts across these despite the fact that nasdaq's looking really ugly all right i i in some ways am a little surprised by it a lot of the reason i'm making this video is actually to see if any of the viewers can can give me some good comments and let me know what i'm missing but look this doesn't look great by any means the nikola chart i'm talking about but looking at this comparative to the NASDAQ chart that's under all of those and looking to go there, like, oh, you know what I mean? So it, 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 it's a little surprising that we're actually holding horizontal. And and again, if there's any news I'm missing, please let me know. But that's, that's kind of the theme across most of these, if I'm not mistaken. But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to the channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here and giving me your time, oh man, I appreciate you so, so much. All right. So look, let's get into it. And Nicola, look, Nicola's this is not a fantastic chart, all right? We are essentially moving horizontally with all five lines, all right? I, I, genu I genuinely don't like that because crazy things can happen, all right? And whenever that happens, I always flash two stops, all right? Palantir, if I zoom out, you can see it, was just moving with all five for a pretty long time. It goes to the top, goes to the bottom, goes to the top, goes to the bottom, goes to the top, goes to the bottom, finally breaks, all right? The other one is HUSA. And you can see, I mean, this one was for months and months, just going down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, finally going down, right? So the extremes are extreme, all right? And if we break these two lines, if we can get over like 170, oh yeah, this thing should go crazy. However, if we go below this, below 128, 127, oh man, this thing can come down hard, all right? The problem is, like you just saw in the other two, sometimes we'll go below, it's gonna scare some people, and then all of a sudden, for no reason, it's gonna go up. It's gonna get people excited, people are gonna buy, and then it's gonna go back. I call this a tornado. You never know when you're gonna get sucked out, sucked in, sucked in. Like, it's, it's difficult trading to say the least, all right? That said, the fact that we've literally been horizontal since the 18th is a little bit of a shock because the NASDAQ since the 18th has been on a hard, hard downtrend, all right? There is nothing horizontal about this. We are way down here, right? And that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I, 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 I can't pretend I understand what's happening here. Again, if there's any news I'm missing, let me know. But somehow, MACD is actually in the positive. Somehow, RSI has been living not too bad. And despite the fact that volume can't crack the 50 moving average, it's like, I'm, I'm a little lost for words. I, 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 I gotta say it one more time, just staying horizontal actually isn't that bad in these market conditions, all right? There may be moments where it peaks over this. There may be moments, excuse me, where it goes under it. And hey, that might be the trade that you do. Buy it when it's down here, sell it with, when it's up here, wait for it to get down here, buy it again and watch it go up, right? Like that's not a bad thing to do in some tornado situations, right? Um, again, let me know what I'm missing. But yeah, it's just, it, it seems odd, all right? Okay, where are we on the weekly? Again, there's, there's, it's an interesting weekly, 
all right? Last week, we smashed two moving averages, all right? I generally need some really good confirmation. And, and unfortunately, that com it, it at least means getting a lot closer to here. So I would want to close above 175 to actually believe that this weekly is here. I don't, and it, you know, gives us the next week to attack the, the 50, okay? We are at least under the 20 as of now, but hey, we still got a couple days. You know, we actually have more than half the days, right? So um, comparatively, we're still in a good place to last week's candle. Let's at least not lose the eight, right? But I'd love to hold that as well. If not, like I said, get back up to here. But 177, where are you? Is that near that? That's, I don't see that happening. I don't think we're gonna, I really don't think we're gonna get over the, maybe we do, maybe we do. Maybe we hit that, we peak and we come down. I don't really know, right? Like I said, I'm a little lost for words at what's happening here. So, um, you know, it's funny, This there, a, a little bit of this is actually me asking you all for help than actually giving my opinions. But the, the easiest opinion I can give is, I think we're gonna play a little, um, go to the bottom, go to the top, go to the bottom, go to the top, maybe a little bit of a peak above it, maybe a little bit of a peak below it. Just be careful, all right? I think that's the easy thing to say. But yeah, I would really, really appreciate some feedback. We're probably coming up on earnings. I don't know if earnings has already happened or if it's around the corner. Let me know if you know any dates about that as well, please. But yeah, that is a look at Nikola. Let's jump into Rivian, R-I-V-N, all right? Rivian, what happened today? Again, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. The one thing I gotta say though, and again, it's kind of echoing the the comments from Nikola, but not as not as strongly, all right? When you look at NASDAQ fr from the 18th to now, all right? When we look at the NASDAQ composite, from the 18th to now, all we've done is a very hard downtrend very hard not, not you know we're actually down here right so like it's actually that it, it, it is a steep steep line down all right rivion starts down monster recovery comes back here all right definitely down from where we were right but not that like hard down steep down that we see with the nasdaq all right um Again, I don't know what made that recover. I really, really don't. Um, if there was some news, let me know, all right? But again, the fact that NASDAQ was going down and continued to go down, I'm shocked that we're not all the way down at 18 something, honestly. I think it's also a little crazy that the 100 moving average is still going up. It is, right? That means, Oh, because obviously the eight's gonna move the fastest, then this, then this, then this, right? So that's at least saying, hey, none of the lines are telling me to start like, this thing needs to do a long curve before it moves, right? Like it, it, it's not doing that. And and it's 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 crazy to see us hold this. It's, it's shocking to see us go up. I'm surprised that we didn't keep going down like we saw with the NASDAQ. This is an ugly candle. I'm not trying to take away from this, right? Like we definitely lose three moving averages on a single day. We were at a point where we broke all five moving averages and just simply couldn't confirm, right? Like if we confirmed, hey, we would have been talking about going here if not higher, right? We couldn't confirm, we fail a lot harder than it actually looks like it should have. So tomorrow I would love to get back here. I think that'd be a little on the promising side if we can get back to 2260, give or take. Um, Otherwise, yeah, I think we're probably going to be coming down to, to 2020. Um, yeah, I think that's good here. I think that's good here. Where are we on the weekly? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be hard. Twenty. This thing says 2012. I think 2020 seems a little realistic here, actually. I don't think it would go any lower than 2020. Um, man, maybe the weekly... Is, is the strength here. This this 50 moving at, like, yeah, there's some interesting things happening here. I think I'll give some credit to the weekly, but again, I'm I'm shocked that that weekly, like I said, this should have gone down. This should have mimicked the NASDAQ. I'm surprised it didn't. Let me know if there's news. I'm kind of repeating myself from the last one. So next, let's take a look at PSNY, Polestar. So Polestar caught my eye today. Polestar did catch my eye today, why? Red, sorry, red, 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 red could be a nice green, 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 all the way up to maybe this 340 line right here, all right? Um, we get over the eight, 
can't really confirm, can't really confirm, can't really confirm. I'll at least call this a confirmation of the eight, and now I'm looking to confirm the 20, and I'll be honest, break the eight, go to the 20, this really is giving me reason to believe we might break the 20 and go to like, we might see a fast candle up to, to, to here. Maybe, oh, we're already here. <laughs> we're already here, yeah. There's red, 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 red might be a nice green, green, green to here. This is definitely a must watch for tomorrow. Look, MACD is definitely in the negative. Um, and again, same, not, that's sorry, that's what I was looking at and thinking, same NASDAQ comments, all right? When we look at the NASDAQ composite, the 18th till now has been horrible. That is not what, what Polestar is doing. What's going on with these EV stocks? Let me know if there's some general news happening here. Um, there, it, it is really, really interesting that these tech heavy stocks are not mirroring the NASDAQ. They're actually doing, I would, I would say substantially better. And to even think that this thing is gonna run up to here when I've been kind of hinting that I feel like the NASDAQ's gonna still drop all the way down to here, let alone here. Um, it, it, it's a little surprising, it actually is. Where are we on the weekly here? Oof, man, yeah, the weekly's again saying, I, I kind of want to come at least to here. Look, go under it, come up to it. I don't know if we'll break it, but yeah, it seems like we're going to want to come up to it. And then, hey, if we go down, whatever, we'll bank it before it does, right? But um, red, 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 green, 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 green. There's not too much to say. Look at that. Volume over the line, volume over the line, volume over the line, volume over the line. There's volume here. There is. Um, where are we comparatively like all-time lows? Yeah, we were going deep and deep into all-time lows. Maybe it's just, like I said, a momentary recovery, whatever it is, this is well worth looking at tomorrow. I think there's a lot of reason to think we might be coming here. Um, interesting. We've now looked at three of the four, right? Oh, five, I wanted to look at five. Coming into Lucid, Lucid is not doing well. Lucid is the outlier from the first ones. Lucid actually does have a nice little downtrend, but again, a little bit of it reminds me of Rivion. Went down, instead of continuing down, it makes a good little recovery up and then actually holds here. Lucid and Riven, that's not too, too far off. Interesting, interesting. Again, the one problem here that the substantial problem here is Lucid's been well under all five moving averages for a while. Lucid's been struggling with the eight and the 20 for a while. Um, yeah, it just can't get over this line. It struggles to get over this one. And when it does, this thing stops it, right? But um, yeah, interesting. This one, I, I still think this one does look a lot weaker than the rest. Like even with Rivion, right? I know I just compared it to Rivion, but truth be told, Rivion's still over the 100, Rivion's still over the 200. Like it's not quite an apples and apples comparison, right? But um, yeah, again, it didn't continue on down this week. It actually did really well. And then, you know, holding about half of it, right? But I would say Lucid looks like the worst of the bunch for sure. Um, definitely worse on the weekly to say the least, right? So um, interesting. Damn, I flew through these. But see, I think the main reason that I flew through this is really like the charts I don't think are telling me the whole story. I'm not sure if I'm missing something like some earnings something or like some new government like regulation that's supposed to help EV stocks or tax. Re I don't know, right? But yeah, there's, there's something just looks, it, 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 it's, it's an interesting sector review. Uh, Mullen, look, kind of, damn, dude, Mullen's actually been the worst. Mullen did not do the recovery up like the rest did. Mullen actually held a pretty bad downtrend. Mullen is still struggling with the 20 moving average. Yeah, I would not, I would not, I would not touch Mullen under 51 cents. I actually don't think I would touch Mullen under, I think the first place I would buy Mullen is 54 cents. I don't think I don't think it's worth considering anything under 54 cents. Just my opinion, there is definitely no such thing as safe trading or safer trading or guaranteed trading, but going over the 20 moving average and writing it up to the 50 seems a lot more um, 
a lot more realistic and probable, I couldn't think of the words, just given our struggle, our struggle, our struggle with that 20, our struggle, our struggle, our struggle, our struggle with the eight, our struggle with the eight and the 20, our struggle with the eight and the 20. That's all we've been talking about well before this split, well before this split, it's been a good while. All right. And hey, it's been a good while, like historically as well. So um, yeah, let me know if there's more EV news in the front half of this that I missed. Otherwise, you know, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.